my name is Diona Kana David and for today's video, group 3 from SET we will be discussing and presenting some of the risk factors together with its possible solution in the specific area of school that we are assigned to observe. And this specific area is located at the gate of General Fabiano Yenko Senior High School. And this video will also mark as our performance task number 2 in DRR subject. And now let's hear from the other members what are the other risks and some possible solutions that can be done so that the school will be more safer. Good day everyone, I'm Jonathan Biro Sanles and I'm here to explain why wires outside our school can be classified as a risk for everyone. Wires outside can cause injury due to electric shock, electrocution, and fire. One of the things that can trigger the, this risk is the typhoon. Based on World Data Info, the estimated numbers of typhoons occur in the Philippines are about 16 times a year. Typhoons can be the reason of tree falling on the ground and the trees can hang on the electric wires that can cause the active power cable to break from the pole and as I said that it is because of typhoons, the things that surround the wire are wet so the electric power of the wires can spread around and harm or even kill people. Hi everyone, I am May Christelle and Serene and also I am here to explain why the electric wires can be classified as a risk factor of our school. So we all know electric wires is one of the most dangerous things, especially if it's not arranged or attached to the poles properly. So here's another example of risk of the electric wires. When there's an earthquake, we can avoid falling of poles or posts. And when the pole falls into the ground, it can damage all the electric wires. Therefore, we must be ready or we can make a solution how to avoid some accidents. We can put or cover all the electric wires by PVC corrugated electric hose. So that if the electric wires fall to the ground, it cannot cause any accident or any tragedies. Good day everyone! I am Cassandra Bianca Artalinga and I am here to discuss the next risk area that we have found near the entrance or exit routes of our school. The risk area that we have found is the trees located beside the guardhouse in our school. It is considered as a risk area as the tree itself and its branches, especially the weak ones can cause a serious injury as they may break and fall on someone passing by. If the tree had been cut off during a disaster or calamity, it may also have struck a wire which is more dangerous as it may cause fire. Considering that it is near the entrance and exit routes, most or all of the people who are going to attend school will use this hallway. So immediate action regarding this issue is a must as it will be a big help in saving li the lives of many people in the future. The solution we have in mind is to mow or trim the tree and its branches that may fall if a disaster strikes. So sa slippery floor naman po, ito po yung cause ng hindi maayos na paglilinis sa sahig o palapag na dinaraanan ng bawat estudyante o individual. Posibleng mag po ito ng several injuries tulad ng pagkadulas, pagkahulog at pagkadapa na maaaring kasakit ng kanilang katawan. The solution on the slippery area in the entrance area is to open the boat gate. Avoid allowing student to enter or exit the car rampage for school parking lot. And lastly, the stairs in the gate for the people should be renovated due to this alignment and damage stairs. So we can reduce accidents like what Barra discussed. Hello, I'm Tyron Joshua Bisamnyaga. Today, I'm going to talk about what are the risk areas our group identified. The risk area I will talk about is the road in front of the school. The school gates lead directly to the road, which presents the risk of vehicles hitting people that are entering or exiting the school. I believe the solution to this problem is placing signs indicating that, that the area is a school zone and that vehicles should slow down to avoid accidentally hitting someone. That is all. Thank you. This signboard is certainly attractive and appropriate for the location of the entrance to General Fabiano Yenko Senior High School. But depending on the circumstances, it may also be dangerous. Moreover, this signboard may drift outside of its allocated area. 
if this municipality is hit by a powerful typhoon or earthquake. It might fly and strike vehicles, buildings, or people, causing harm or worse, fatalities. The solution to this situation is to check the base or the support of this signboard to ensure that it is strong and durable. However, we should also inform the people to be cautious of the possibility that this thing might break and hurt the people nearby in case a disastrous situation occur. Hi, I am here to explain why uneven stairs are classified as a risk for everyone. Uneven steps throw off that rhythm unexpectedly, making it much more likely that a person walking up or down is going to trip or miss a step entirely. Uneven and otherwise poorly constructed staircases, especially in older buildings, pose a significant hazard to people traversing. It can cause injury to us. To fix uneven stairs, we can remove the existing steps and adjust and remove some of the floor framings on the upper part of the steps. And then we can install a new staircase that would pose no risk. We observe that the lack of pedestrian lane is one of the risks in our school. So based on our observation, the road is too narrow that makes it more riskier because it can lead to an accident in different ways. From classes involving multiple vehicles to single vehicles, and to those students who cross the road. More pedestrian crossings are often found at intersections that may also be at other points on these roads that would otherwise be too unsafe to cross without assistance due to vehicle's numbers, speed, or road weights. One of the reasons if we don't have a pedestrian lane in our school, first, if we all know some students is unfamiliar with the rules of the road, a lack of understanding about auto safety, inattention, distraction, unpredictable movements, frequent road crossing near schools, and small statues less visible to drivers can all factor in the prevalence of students involved in pedestrian accidents. So we can avoid these accidents through installing pedestrian lanes. It will increase pedestrian safety and facilitate the flow of vehicular traffic. And it will protect both drivers and students on the road. Areas with excessive and unsecured storage, like the module room in school, they pose an unforeseen threat. The module room, for example, has modules stacked high and has very little moving space. This means that in case of an earthquake or in case of someone misplacing an item on top of the stack of papers, there could be a risk of a fall. The solution to this is to be able to provide ample storage areas in school that are secured like cabinets or large drawers for the modules to be put in.